Do you want to rent a server for just one hour, two hours, maybe a day? You can do that. I will teach you how to do this using Vulch. Vulch is based on SSD and the latest Intel CPUs and it's very powerful and it's uh, very cheap uh, in my opinion and you can choose between um, various products like uh, the two dollars and fifteen hourly server it's very cheap you can choose uh, that and start with that okay now let's register you can use the link on the info box or using just vault.com but using the link you will have a little boost for your start so let's go to it let's log in you will find these this is not exactly what you will find because you will not have this server deployed you will have nothing so let's go to the big blue button and let's deploy the server here you can choose between the classic vault cloud compute platform so vc2 and you will have various servers instances linked between them you can expand them uh, you can uh, attach some storage you can do a lot of things or you can just use a dedicated instance the dedicated instance is a latest CPUs Intel CPUs with 8 core 16 threads and um, it's uh, as cheap as $214 per month not very cheap but uh, you will have a powerful machine or just the 25% of it so this is a, a just a physical instance just uh, yours for the month for the hour it's everything your so you will not have noisy neighbors you will not have problems but for the purpose of this tutorial let's deploy a different server just a, a very cheap one so i will choose the one on new york because i have a uh, a block storage that are waiting for me and I will teach you how to use that later let's select the server type so you can choose between uh, pre-made uh, um, Ubuntu versions you can choose between things just installed just these are like snapshots for you but I prefer using the ISO library. The ISO library is uh, very easy to use and uh, you will configure your server but yourself. I will choose this one or just upload the ISO. I have the Ubuntu Studio one that I used for a different purpose before. <coughs> this one is the one I, I choose and upload it and install it for an Italian uh, tutorial but this is uh, in English is different so I will choose the ISO library it's um, my choice is the Ubuntu Studio uh, 16 then 64 bits and I will choose the 20 uh, gigabyte SSD one CPU single uh, for as low as 0 0.004 dollars hour per cheap now I can choose additional features like enable IPvC or enable private network or pay one but uh, what is important for me now is uh, block storage compatible so I can attach the storage to it because it's just a 20 gigabyte SSD is not uh, covering my full needs so let's deploy this one using a uh, host name I will call it tutorial tutorial yes server level tutorial 2 only one and I will apply to it the 22% VAT because I am in Italy it's a very not cheap <laughs> So let's deploy this server. Deploy now. We will have to wait for a moment to it to be installed. In the moment between, I will look if I'm recording. Yes, I'm recording very well. <coughs> let's wait for it. Uh, let's check if it is installed. No, not yet. So in the moment between, I will uh, show you how to enter on servers and um, deploy new server and storage instance the first storage instance is uh, free 
to try so for the moment you can choose the New York one for example Los Angeles one I have the, my one on New York it's free I never paid for it maybe I will have to in the future but for now you can choose it and not pay anything so I suggest you to do it just uh, to attach it to your uh, very cheap server you will have the this one no it's different uh, it's a little more okay you will have the 15 gigabyte one and you can uh, deploy it so you will have to put a name a name for it and deploy now I won't do that because I have it yet so let's go up and let's see if the server is installed IOPS tutorial is uh, running perfect okay now for um, for what I need I will uh, have to go to server again because I need to go to block storage let's go to block storage 15 gigabytes it's here I will have to attach it to my server so attach to instance and okay attach it our server start are you sure I'm sure I want to attach it so let's wait for it to be loaded let's wait a moment another moment two moments let's check it to servers okay tutorial let's enter it block storage is being attached most direction will be unavailable until it has computed so let's refresh it a little more time subscription touched perfect so let's go to this little icon view console because we need to install it let's wait for it and it's up and running <laughs> perfect so now I will take you a suggestion to you just choose the English keyboard layout I have this here just easy to, to set because it is set it not to Italian one if you're Italian but I think you have not you are not so let's go to the installation I will guide you if you know how to install a server you don't need to follow this uh, guide anyway I will do that if you you can skip it if you know how to do that let's go to English install Ubuntu server it's easy to install for me let's wait a moment it's uh, not to okay English United States is correct layout is in um, you know no don't detach it English United States it's okay English uh, my cable machine input layout it's uh, perfect so everything is good let's configure it as soon as it has finished okay now we have to choose a nothing I will choose a uh, name tutorial okay full name for the user tutorial <laughs> everything username is the same choose, let's choose a password I will choose a very cheap one that is a uh, password <laughs> it's very easy password the easiest one encrypt your home directory and no need that is the time zone New York America correct yes it is corrected in this case so setting up now it's uh, the partition time I will choose the manual one and virtual disk 21 gigabytes will create an empty partition table yes so let's enter it a swap partition of 10% uh, of this 10% it's better primary beginning and it will be swap area because it has not a lot of RAM it has only 525 uh, megabytes it's not so much done setting it up let's go for the second create new partition and now that is the correct size yes primary mount point is one label we set base typical use it nothing bootable flag yes done setting it up now let's go to the second uh, partition that is our 
virtual um, it's uh, our block storage that we deployed for free before do you remember okay so let's enter it 55 gigabytes create an empty partition table yes let's create it let's enter it free space create a new partition the 100 of percent of the space primary it's corrected and let's mount it as a home directory this is uh, what I suggest bootable flag not reserve blocks for super user 5% it's okay now setting up the partition so it is finished let's go to finish partitioning and write changes to disk is everything okay so yes and now let's wait it to be configured installing the system let's wait okay now we are prompt to choose uh, if we have a HTTP proxy we have not this so let's continue it if you have one you can choose it automatic updates not in this case I want and now echo this uh, I will choose this one manual package selection with the bar space you can choose what to so manual package selection yes standard system utilities yes for sure open secure share language no secure share language ssh install it ok let's continue it and let's wait it to be installed and configured ok we are almost done we have to install the grub so let's install it install the grub loader for, to the main to the master boot record yes let's choose it to dev vda that is the base one almost done finishing the installation if you choose uh, a faster machine you will have an installation that will take so much less time because it's like installing an operative system to a very slow computer this is uh, not a normal computer, it's a server, but anyway, okay, it's installation completed. Let's go. Continue. And now we have to put off the ISO from our disk, from our server. So let's go to settings. Settings, uh, we have ca um, customism and we have to remove the ISO. Let's remove it. This will mean that the server will be rebooted. It's okay. Let's wait for it to be removed. It will take just a while. In the meantime, I will teach you how to extend your plan. So, if you go, if you know that you will need uh, more computation power on this server, you can just go to setting. And so, oh, the ISO was not removed. Okay, I need to wait to be removed. Okay, the ISO is removed from the machine. So let's go again to settings because now I have to teach you how to change your plan. So if you know that you will need more computational power, you can choose between different plans like uh, the one VPU, 124 megabytes, or 248 megabytes of RAM so just a little more expensive but you can upgrade it if you want it so let's go to overview let's choose the view console uh, we will now have our server up and running authentication using authentication ok I'm on ok our server up and running so let's enter it like tutorial password was password welcome to Ubuntu 16 Dan we are on let's go for top and we see that processes are running perfect ctrl C we finished okay if we want to use this server just from our computer just uh, without using this console here we don't like that we don't really like that because we have the problem of the dictionary of the um, cable layout so we can just open a terminal if you are on Linux or just your command line or if you are on Windows but I don't know how to do that in Windows anyway we can use it uh, by writing this 
command here SSH by open SSH we installed before and now the username that is tutorial at now the address we can find it here on the server information and it is a one of four two three no okay what if we want to use uh, this server just from command line just from our normal computer we are opening this uh, console here because we don't like that so let's open if you're in Linux or if you are on Windows the command line so it's uh, start cmd to execute it but I'm not sure how to do that in Windows anyway I will use the open SSH server that I installed before the, the package so to use it just write SSH now the name of your username tutorial it's okay at the address that we can find here on the server information that is 104 238 dot 12351 let's set the port that is 22 by default you can choose uh, to change it but usually it's 22 and okay now we are prompt for the password that is basically password as we choose and now we are on let's go for top again and we see every process that we are running we can just launch our process like ping ping http slash slash google.com okay maybe I don't know how to use this ping command anyway we can just we can just we get my website gabbo.com yes it's working I have downloaded my file that is on ls on my own folder we can change folders we can do everything that we want because we are on our server and we are not switch to the cable layout that we don't like that because it is in English it's different from our Italian one or Japanese one so we can want that we want that just uh, nothing we are almost done we can exit if you, we have not to do anything more on the server by SSH but if you need to to know how much space you have left on your hard drive you can just use this command password you can just use the eighth if you don't know that H and here you have every single basis on your server and every single using um, percentage of your drive one important thing that you have to consider is that you just have in this case 500 gigabyte of bandwidth usage of uh, out bandwidth usage what I consider very important is um, to basically update your server because we choose not to have um, an everyday uh, system uh, security update because we don't need it in this case, you can choose to have that but super user do apt update e -e sudo apt upgrade so everything will be upgraded to the lastest version let's go for it let's wait to the package list and okay 380 megabytes will be downloaded and used nope only 134 megabytes so everything is okay it is installing the lastest update we can close it because we don't need that and now let's refresh this page you can see here on the details something like more detailed information about your server and what I suggest you is to go to bandwidth preferences and here to choose this one the stop VM on bandwidth usage of 99% uh, because if you will go over you have only 500 gigabytes per month for this instance if you go over you will pay one 
pound, I don't know if it is pound in English, anyway, uh, 0.01 um, dollars for every gigabyte of outbounding uh, gigabyte. So I suggest you to set it to 95% so it will stop using it if it um, reaches it. Or just you will receive an email at 75%, 90%, 100% and so nothing. Now we finished using this server uh, we want to stop it, we don't want to pay any more for it because we finished so let's go to this one and uh, we need to destroy it if we don't know destroy it the server will continue to build us uh, every hour until we finish the credit and over so let's type to it yes we will destroy the machine, we don't need it anymore, we reached our needs, uh, our desires, so it's over, we need to destroy it, we can just type yes, ok, let's wait for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, it's not so much longer, but you have to consider it, because uh, you will need uh, just a minute to because of your connection speed or any problem that can occur, so let's destroy it one minute before of the hour, of the two hours, of the day or anything that you choose because this is just the... Oh, it's finished! It's my VPS, my cheap VPS, but if you have a more expensive one, it will be more expensive, I've been now one hour in more. So it can be a euros, up to a euros, two hours. It's not comfortable to lose it. So it is destroyed and nothing. The tutorial is finished. This is Francesco Yoshi Gobbo. Use my code to enter it, to try it, to test it. You will have, I think, 10 euros free. Um, 13 euros free if you choose the Twitter, uh, uh, follow Twitter to tweet it. Uh, so it's very up to you. And uh, follow me on, on my pages if you want. You can uh, just uh, watch to my website, uh, it's fugobbo.com. Uh, I'm on YouTube. Uh, and just subscribe, just question things uh, on the comments uh, section and see ya next time, bye!